the Lord. Good morning. All you smiling faces out there. What a worship this morning. Well, this is my testimony. Sunday, March 11th, 2007, the unforgettable date when I became an unwilling member of the infamous and very unpopular Broken Hip Club. Some of you out there know that club. The Bible tells of a man named Jacob who had his hip broken while wrestling with an angel of the Lord and walked with a limp for the rest of his life. The Apostle Paul had a thorn in his flesh which some have speculated may have possibly been a hip problem. However, no one truly knows what the thorn in Paul's flesh was. While skating on the hard ice at the Covent Garden Market, Sunday afternoon, March 11, 2007, I awkwardly fell on my left hip and did not move. I was taken by ambulance to LHSC and immediately, immediately diagnosed with a broken hip. Now this happened on a Sunday afternoon. However, it just happened to be an orthopedic surgeon just finishing up an operation there. I was operated on within two hours of breaking my hip. This was in itself an unprecedented miracle. My wife hadn't even gotten to the hospital before I was taken into the operating room. And when a person breaks their hip, the hip is not normally replaced. The hip fracture is repaired with a special plate attached to the femur bone with special screws and one large special screw that holds everything together. This is a rather major operation. After being in hospital for a week, I was sent home and expected two more weeks in total bed rest. I was on painkillers of some sort, which caused me to see spiders and snakes. I needed crutches to get around. It was very limited as far as what I could do, and what I could do was done with a great deal of struggle, pain, and suffering. There's more. This was a very trying time and challenging experience for me and my wife, a time of helplessness and depression. My demeanor had changed from an easygoing, happy-go-lucky guy to a very grumpy disposition, which is not my normal nature and character. Some five weeks after breaking my hip and still walking on crutches, I attended a staff meeting with How in Howard's office. Howard's office was on the second floor. Trying to navigate the long staircase on my crutches, I can vividly recall, was one of the most painful experiences of my life. And it seemed to take forever to reach the top. During the meeting, Howard saw how preoccupied I was with the pain. He stopped and prayed for a physical healing of my hip. The pain immediately subsided and strength came back into my hip and my leg. I started doing the dance of joy or the flamingo dance. <laughs> you know the flamingo dance? <laughs> okay, here it is. Which, which was standing on the broken leg and squatting up and down on it all the while while doing a lot of shouting. God was glorified by the healing power of his son, Jesus Christ. God healed my hip. The Lord had healed my hip. Hallelujah. 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 Glory be to God. This was a very exciting and joyous time. And another day I'll never forget. I went into the meeting on crutches and walked out carrying my crutches and never used them again. In the 12 years since then, I haven't fallen down again, nor have I skated. <laughs> no surprise there. But I have walked a million miles on this same hip, only by the grace of God, and have discovered swimming to be a much safer, low-impact sport to participate in. Our God is a God of listening, hearing, 
hope and healing. Praise the Lord. Amen.